Hello everybody, welcome to this video tutorial and I will be teaching you how to make the infinite paper. Infinite paper is a very fun little toy. Uh, we can use it to pretty much do whatever we want, to create a story, um, just to put in different pictures, sort of like a photo album. Uh, we make the infinite paper from a square so, starting from a rectangular sheet of paper, we'll need to do our traditional fold over here, uh, remove this extra rectangle that we have. Remember, if you don't have any scissors, you just fold it, lick it, and then you can rip. Okay. So now we have a, uh, our square. We will divide this square into half. Okay? Just fold the right side to the left side like so. Okay. Lick and tear again. So this way we have two rectangles. Mm -hmm. We're going to need to repeat the process. So again, we have our rectangular sheet of paper. We will take the rectangle, fold down the top edge, remove the extra rectangle, Give it a little tear. We have our square. Fold it in half. And cut the paper again. Like so. So, now we have our two squares. Basically what we're going to do is we're going to superimpose one square on top of the other, but we're going to rotate the rectangles so that they are perpendicular. Uh, we'll have two going vertically on the bottom, and two going vertically on the top. Before we do this, what we'll need to do is we'll need to work, uh, we'll need to prepare the paper. So when you have a rectangle, you need to fold it in half, and in half again. Like so. Do it on the reverse side, just so that the folds uh, go both ways, front and back. So that the paper is nice and flexible. This is going to help us when we create the infinite paper. Okay, so we have this. Uh, I'm going to do all three of these uh, together just to save some time. Uh, I've stacked them one, two, three. Fold them in half, nice and strong. Go backwards, nice and strong. And quarter folds. You see what I've done here is I've folded the edge to the center and on the back. The other side. So now our papers are prepared. So we'll leave two down on the bottom, and we're going to put two on the top, perpendicularly. Now, it's important for you to pay attention to the edges. You see I have a little bit extra hanging down here. I need to push it up so that all of the edges align together. 
And what we're going to do is we're going to put a little bit of glue in each of the four corners. Okay, up here, up here, down here, and down here. Now, you can see this fold line. This fold line marks where I need to put the glue. I need to put it inside here. And if I lift up the flap, this fold line will do the same. So what I'm going to do, I'll just leave this folded back like so. I'll get my glue very, very carefully holding the paper. I'll put some glue in only in this little square right here. And glue it. Repeat the process on the other side. So, and at the bottom, and over here. So this is our infinite paper. Now the first couple times that we use it, we'll need to help work the folds, okay? So we do, we fold it back and open. Up this way, open. This way, open, this way, open. And that's our folding, our infinite paper. You see, it opens, 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 opens. So now what you'll do is you'll just decorate all of the different little areas. Mm, you can put a picture here, cut out pictures, glue them, stick them, do whatever you want. And put a little one here, here. Uh, just play with it, uh, investigate, observe where the different areas show up. And you can make a nice uh, little toy uh, rotating moving album. Thank you for watching.